It is a very stormy evening taking shape across the entire area. Rounds of strong to severe thunderstorms on the move. We'll track them for you just ahead. He says he's been waiting 10 years for justice after being badly injured in a hit and run crash. But why a man fears he'll never receive it, even though the suspect has now been charged. Now, a Madison County Fire Department is stepping up its efforts to protect homes after a string of arsons around central Kentucky. WKYT News starts now with first alert weather. Good evening to you tonight. Strong and severe storms are moving across the bluegrass and they're packing strong winds and a lot of rain. A tornado touched down in western Kentucky this afternoon. It was caught on camera. We've got some really dramatic pictures of this, but we'll get to that in a little bit. That's in Graves County in just a minute. But we begin tonight with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. And Chris, we can hear the thunder right now and the rain coming down. Yeah, it is rolling on top of the Lexington area now. Guys, that severe thunderstorm watch is out for central Kentucky until 8 o'clock. New watch is likely to be issued for parts of southern and eastern Kentucky that will carry us deeper into the evening coming up here very shortly. This watch goes until 8 o'clock this evening, but we've got all kinds of rounds of storms coming at us, so that's likely to be extended. Look at all of the severe thunderstorms that are out there, and you can see how this is becoming more linear into northern Kentucky. A line of thunderstorms, if you will, from around Vanceburg into Lewis County, right on top of the Lexington area, and back toward the southwest, where a tornado warning is out for Hart County. So if you're watching us right now into Adair County, the Campbellsville area, and maybe Casey County, we'll watch that storm. It's trying to wrap up a little bit as we speak. Severe thunderstorm warning for parts of central Kentucky, and it does include downtown Lexington. Uh, that is out for Garrett, Jessamine, Mercer, Woodford, Fayette County is included, uh, Fayette County, Boyle County included in this, and across the downtown Harrodsburg, that is where we are seeing the worst of the storm as of now. It is heading into Bergen and northern parts of Garrett County likely to get smacked with that very shortly. Also, likely some small hell between Nunsuch and Mortonsville over toward Keene, Wilmore into Jessima County. That extends right into downtown Versailles. Here is the Bluegrass Parkway. All of a sudden now we're seeing a ton of lightning coming from this part of the storm, indicating that it is likely strengthening a little bit as it works its way toward the downtown Lexington area, where we are already getting in on some very heavy rains that are out there. We can show you a live sky cam in Lexington as of now. And the sky is very, very dark, rolling on into town with some of those strong thunderstorms, and that severe thunderstorm is just off to our west. The farther north that we get, we start to see that lightening up just a little bit. But boy, skies are opening up here on Winchester Road in Lexington. Large hail with this particular storm that is coming into sections of Springfield, Marion County toward Harrodsburg. Defenders now back up to estimating the maximum hail size with that grapefruit size hail. Ridiculous. Uh, in terms of the overall hail potential. We have Garrett Weimer, who is stationed on top, uh, very close to the Bluegrass Parkway here into Anderson County, giving us a live look at this storm as he tracks the storm across southern parts of Anderson County. And he's giving us a live look at the back edge of that storm. Worst of it is just to the south of the Anderson County area as of now. But 3D defenders, we will continue to watch that storm, showing how the thunderstorms are building up into the atmosphere, guys. They're hitting that cold air that is way upstairs and bringing a lot of those uh, hailstones that are up in the tops of the clouds getting them all the way down to the surface. Also watching a very strong storm here into Fleming County as well. To say it's busy, an understatement. And I think it's going to get busy right on through the middle and end of the evening, if not toward the wee hours of the morning. As we get more information about damage, additional warnings will break in and let you know. All right, Chris, thanks so much. Tonight, tornado damage is being reported in parts of western Kentucky. As we told you just a few minutes ago, a tornado that touched down this afternoon in Mayfield was caught on tape. Kristen Kennedy just talked to a man who shot the video, and she's at the live desk with more. Kristen, pretty frightening to watch this and listen to it. It was very interesting to talk with this man as well. Randall Reed told us he was working in Mayfield when he saw the tornado drop down. He started recording what he saw, and we have that video to show you now. He told us he was standing right outside Shelby Automotive taking that video. At the time, he and fellow employees weren't too worried about their business or the cars in the lot, but in hindsight, 
It is scary for him to think about. He did say at one point he and fellow employees stepped inside to keep watching and recording. He watched the tornado hit a business about 500 feet away from where he was. I don't think it ever registered. You know, it ever really registered how dangerous it was because I seen it hit a building, what it did to the building. Reed says he and fellow employees are not hurt, and the cars on their lot are fine too. At the live desk, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. Kristen, thank you. And remember, you can track storms along with the latest traffic with the WKYT Weather Plus Traffic app. You can download it for free in the app or Google Play stores. He's been confined to a wheelchair since being badly injured in a hit and run crash in Lexington 10 years ago. But a man says he's still waiting for justice in the case and he fears he will never receive it. Investigators say the suspected driver didn't turn herself in until this year, and the victim says the charges she's facing are an insult to him. In our top story at six, Hillary Thornton tells us about a heated hearing in that case today. Originally facing a felony charge of first degree assault today, Carmela Velasco Palacios in front of a judge only facing misdemeanors in the 2006 hit and run crash that left Ronald Woolhams, who was born deaf, unable to walk. I don't really want to sound like I'm feeling sorry for myself, but. This has not been a fun 10 years. Court documents showing investigators say Velasco hit Woolhams with her vehicle as he was walking along Versailles Road back in July of 2006. Charges were filed and a warrant issued for her arrest. However, it was not until this February, 10 years after the crash. According to her arrest citation, she flagged an officer down outside of her apartment, turning herself in. She's got more rights than I do, and I'm the one that was put in the wheelchair. Last month, a green jury returning an indictment against Velasco, however, dismissing the assault charge, leaving her only facing misdemeanors, including leaving the scene of an accident and not having insurance. I can't imagine not getting a felony indictment for leaving somebody on the road to die, which is basically what she did. Those charges returned to district court for arraignment, at which point Woolhams yelled out his frustration during court. And I have anything to say, I'm the guy to put in the wheelchair. The judge going on to ask Woolhams to not yell out in court again. And Woolhams says he was just starting to get used to his new life in a wheelchair, and the fact that now 10 years later the case is going through the court process is bringing him more pain than relief. Better off, she just kept going. It's just like ripping the scab off. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Velasco's attorney planned on her entering a guilty plea on the misdemeanor charges today. However, the judge did not allow that. A not guilty plea was entered, and Velasco will be back in court next week. Tonight, police are still looking for those responsible for a string of arsons that have damaged or destroyed six homes in central Kentucky. The fires have been set in Fayette, Scott, Jessamine, Madison, and Garrett counties in the last two weeks. A volunteer fire department in Madison County is now trying to protect rural homes by making changes to staff schedules. Victor Puente has the story new at six. While Kentucky State Police continue to investigate six fires they believe were set by a burglar, a local fire department is making sure they'll be ready if that arsonist should strike again. The Whitehall Volunteer Fire Department was one of the agencies responding to yesterday's fire on Jacks Creek Road. Uh, it sounded suspicious anyways, um, so we were already on alert whenever uh, we were toned out for that. Suspicious because it was the sixth Central Kentucky home since April 29th to catch fire in the middle of the day while no one was home. Like those six others, this home had also been burglarized. Knowing someone does it on purpose is really disheartening. And concerning. State police have warned neighbors to be prepared, but they're not the only ones taking that advice. Because the fires have been happening in the middle of the day, the volunteers here are making sure someone will be ready. We've decided to staff the station from those hours to lessen our response time. Greenwell says they usually have someone at the station, but their plan is to have a full crew ready should they be needed, which could help homeowners, but could also help police. The less our response time is, the uh, faster we can get there and get a stop on the fire and preserve any evidence that we can for investigators. He says the minutes they save could mean the difference between a smoke damaged home and a destroyed one. Hopefully, we can uh, make a bad situation better. Just before yesterday's fire here in Madison County, Fire investigators from Garrett, Jessamine, Fayette, and Scott counties got together to discuss the similarities between their fires to see if they could help that investigation. 
In Madison County, Victor Puente, WKYT. And the state police arson task force is offering a reward for information on these fires. Let's head back now to Chris for a check of the weather. Yeah, new severe thunderstorm warning for the rest of Fayette County. This includes parts of Clark County, much of Madison County, northern half of Madison County, western Clark County, parts of Bourbon County as well. Severe thunderstorm warning that will go until 645, and that has the potential for large hail and damaging winds greater than 60 miles an hour as it's this uh, complex of storms from western Fayette County through Nicholasville and in the northern parts of Garrett County that is rolling its way across the rest of central Kentucky bluegrass region guys under the gun for the possibility of damaging winds and large hail. Thank you Chris with a week to go before Kentucky's primary Hillary Clinton has returned to the bluegrass to try to sway more voters. A group of working parents was invited to the family care center in Lexington for a private discussion with Hillary Clinton. She told them that child care has become too expensive for working families and that the country should invest more in family issues. She proposed subsidies for families to ease the burden. I don't think any family should have to pay uh, more than 10% of their income for child care. That ought to be just a rule, and you ought to get help if you're getting too close to that or, or going above it. Clinton also proposed increasing pay for child care workers. You can help us track the weather all across the bluegrass. Coming up, how you can join our WKYT Weather Watcher team during a special event tonight. Severe thunderstorms right on top of the Lexington Metro. Lexington Metro under severe thunderstorm warnings. We will run down the latest warnings across the entire region and show you what to expect for the evening ahead. WKYT is putting the new back in late news with newer stories and more updates. So there's less repetition, which means no wasted time. WKYT News at 11. Newer, fresher, worth staying up for. At Bryant Heating and Cooling, your home comfort is our only mission. That's why maintenance matters. With spring around the corner, now's the perfect time. Schedule your preventative maintenance, just $64.95. It's a small price to pay for peace of mind. If you've been injured on the job, do yourself and your family a favor. Visit ForThePeople.com to learn about all of your legal rights. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. Mo Better Lexington. Hi, we need a truck for our family. Yeah, something that can keep up with us. Well, Tundra's perfect. Tows up to 10,000 pounds, so you can go boating, ATVing, Ooh. or camping. <sighs> oh, that's fun. Hmm, maybe we made these scenes too realistic. Choose from a great selection of Tacomas, just named best overall value of the year. Or get the full-size American-made Tundra and get 1.9 financing for 60 months. You look like happy campers. Toyota, let's go places. I've always dreamed of owning my own business, but it takes a lot of work to make a dream come true. Luckily, my John Deere dealer made it easy. My 3E tractor handles every job I needed to without breaking a sweat. And the money I saved lets me know I'm doing something right. Introducing the best-in-class, no-cost, six-year powertrain warranty on John Deere compact tractors. Save at Limestone with an E-Series mower and loader tractor package. Find details in a store near you at limestonefw.com. At Window World, you get the best price right up front. Not just any price. Our lowest price. Guaranteed. Our windows feature the good housekeeping seal. And come with a lifetime limited warranty. Act now and get a house full of windows for as low as $79 a month installed. And save hundreds on siding, doors, shutters, and more. Best products, best service. Best people. Not only do we stand behind our windows, we stand on it. Window World. Preferred window installer of the Big Blue Nation. Considering bankruptcy? Call Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Start your bankruptcy for only $78 now. Dial 859, call ask for your free consultation. The system is rigged. There's not enough good jobs. It's harder to get ahead. And Washington is broken. We need leaders that put our country ahead of party. I'm a businessman, not a politician. I don't believe every Democratic idea is a good idea or every Republican idea is a bad one. I'll take good ideas from both sides and put Kentucky first. I'm Jim Gray. I sponsored this ad to make our state stronger and more prosperous. Jim Gray, Kentucky first. At Bryant Heating and Cooling, your home comfort is our only mission. 
That's why maintenance matters. With spring around the corner, now's the perfect time. Schedule your preventative maintenance, just $64.95. It's a small price to pay for peace of mind. WKYT first alert severe weather day as rounds of strong and severe thunderstorms are now working into parts of central Kentucky. Severe thunderstorm watch continues, but look what has been added now. That is a tornado watch for parts of southern sections of Kentucky, Adair County, Casey County, Russell County, up into Taylor County. We are included in that. That'll go until midnight. Severe thunderstorm watch until 8 o'clock, likely to be expanded. And I'll tell you, for the life of me, cannot and understand why this has not been expanded into parts of eastern Kentucky as of now with that severe thunderstorm watch. No excuse for that. We are tracking rounds of severe thunderstorms across the entire area. This is a tornado warning, by the way, on top of the Hardyville area. Hart County, we're watching that as it works its way to the east into parts of the Campbellsville area, where you already have a severe thunderstorm that is in progress. Severe thunderstorm warnings for the Lexington Metro and newly issued uh, until 645 for the rest of Fayette County into parts of Bourbon County, Clark County, included in that into northern Madison County. That's a severe thunderstorm warning for large hail and winds that may gust greater than 60 miles per hour. Here is Harrodsburg into Danville, northern parts of Boyle County, and especially now east of the Bergen area on top of Bryantsville. We are getting a ton of lightning with that. That likely has some hail. Nicholasville, worst of the storm is kind of splitting us now. You've got strong part of it to the south, and then right on top of downtown Lexington, the amount of lightning is picking up tremendous uh, amounts of lightning showing up across the downtown area. Got to watch for some stream and street flooding as this complex of storms works its way right on top of the downtown Lexington area. Live sky cam, we're showing at least from the station here and the leading edge of the worst of the weather is just about on top of us here on Winchester Road. As that little shelf cloud gets over top of us, boy, it's really going to open up here at the station over the uh, next five minutes roughly on the east side of town. Worst of the weather is into downtown Lexington. I believe we have a live cam out there as well. Now contrast the cam we were just looking at compared to the cam that you're looking at here that is in the heart of the storm right now into downtown Lexington. It got dark in a hurry. Folks are traveling with their lights on. You see all the ponding of water on the roadways. May have winds greater than 50 miles per hour as well. As uh, we get that uh, severe thunderstorm warning, Mike, for parts of Hardin and Taylor County. So, new severe thunderstorm warning coming out of uh, the I 65 corridor and just east of that. Here we go with that line of thunderstorms into 3D defender mode approaching central Kentucky. Notice the tall thunderstorm that is to the west of the Lancaster area. That is kind of splitting right now. Don't like to see that because that means these storms can get out on their own a little bit and sometimes can create a little bit of spin. To the northeast, I don't want to shortchange the storms that are ongoing here from Bourbon County through the Carlisle area, Nicholas County, over toward Flemingsburg. Those storms are kind of out on their own as well. So we'll have to watch that. Speaking of being out on its own, keep a very close eye on this storm in the northern Laurel County as it works its way from southeastern sections of Rockcastle County toward the Greenmount area. Not too far from Anvil here into southern Jackson County, right along Highway 30. That's where we're getting this storm on its own. And boy, it's going to try to develop a little twist here in the next few minutes. Western Kentucky, hard hit, supercell thunderstorms, confirmed tornadoes into the western part of Kentucky. Everything that is out there to our west and southwest is going to roll its way on toward the east and northeast. So large hail, damaging winds, maybe some flooding, as you hear the rain picking up over top of me now, and an isolated tornado threat. I want to show you that hour by hour radar forecast as it continues to spit out additional rounds of thunderstorms over the next several hours. So we're going to be dealing with the possibility of additional storms coming at us as we go through the next several hours. Quick look at that seven day forecast will show us that more rounds of thunderstorms that will come our way tomorrow and in Thursday as well with at least a limited severe weather threat tomorrow. Better chance, I think, as we go into Thursday evening. Storms that are out there now across the Lexington area, guys, likely producing heavy rain as we can hear it, maybe some large hail and 60 mile an hour winds. Your biggest concern right now is going to be the heavy rain threat with some stream and straight flooding and damaging winds. It's a multi threat of evening. Could even have some up to golf ball size hail with these storms too. Okay. Thanks, Chris.
Well, speaking of on this stormy night, we do have a special event for current and future WKYT weather watchers. You can join our team and watch a classic movie. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell is live at the Kentucky Theater in downtown Lexington with more. Hey, Jim. And we're tracking a thunderstorm right through downtown, as Chris was talking about, uh, on the Defender Radar Network. It's certainly passing through here. We felt a little bit of the wind, even on the inside, because we got some of the doors uh, open, so we felt some of it try to press in. But we are here at the Kentucky Theater, and later tonight, despite the weather, we are still going to show theater, or the theater. We're going to show Twister in this theater, right there on that screen, coming up a little bit later. We also have a weather talk that's scheduled to go off just before it, and we're just going to get people up to date on what to look for and some of the changes uh, and the uh, way that they can share information with us here at WKYT. Live in downtown Lexington, where it is storming to beat the band, as Chris Bailey would say. I'm meteorologist Jim Caldwell. And it is here as well. Jim, thank you. Good night to be inside. Yeah. Plenty of honors for UK softball, Rob. Best regular season ever for Kentucky. SEC honors handed out today. And he may be from Italy, but he has fallen in love with the American pastime. The legend's Italian shortstop is next on WKYT. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Three new kinds of jaw-dropping primetime burgers, only at Frisch's Big Boy. Hi, I'm looking for my first Toyota. The Corolla is a great choice. It's super reliable, so it'll be with you for a lot of firsts. Wow, I'm really going places. In a Corolla, right? Now, during Toyota time, you can get any new 2016 Corolla with 0% financing for 60 months or lease this stylish Corolla S for just $169 a month. First things first, your keys. Toyota, let's go places. Step right up for something fun. For just a buck, the excitement's begun. The game's called Kino, and you can play it in an alley. Or you can play it with your best friend, Sally. You can play it here or there. You can play it almost anywhere. Play with many numbers or just a few. How you play is all up to you. You can put down a little or put down a lot. So what do you say? Give Kino a shot. Just pick your numbers and hope you win. And a few minutes later, you can play it again. Now you can play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Fueling imagination. Funding education. What if there was a place where you could test drive John Deere equipment, talk to product experts, and get special coupons worth hundreds off tractors, gators, and more? Well, you found it. It's Drive Green Demo Days, and it's here. The fun starts now. Meet Tractor, now open at London Farm Service. Join us the week of May 9th for our Drive Green event and grand opening. Are you planting a tree? Are you digging a swimming pool? Always call 811 before you dig. It's not just a good idea, it's the law. Columbia Gas of Kentucky. Hi, I'm Brian. I buy houses in the Lexington area. No more stress. I can buy your house as is and we'll close professionally with a Lexington attorney. You can get all cash, debt relief, and peace of mind. Call me at 859-278-HELP or go to 278HELP.com. Ram's continued leadership is eye-opening. Like Ram 3500 with the best towing, best torque, the best payload, and Ram 1500 with the best fuel economy. It's no wonder more people are driving Ram trucks than ever before. Join us now during the Ram Drive and Discover event. Three new kinds of jaw-dropping primetime burgers, only at Frisch's Big Boy. Rivals.com putting out its final recruiting rankings earlier today, and three Wildcats can be found in the top ten. Point guard De'Aaron Fox is number six. Power forward Bam Adebayo right behind him at number seven. Shooting guard Malik Monk number nine. Wynion Gabriel just out of the top ten at 13. Sasha Kalia Jones is 24. Plenty of honors for the U.K. softball team, starting with Rachel Lawson, named Coach of the Year today. First time that Lawson has won the honor after guiding her team 
team to a 43 and 11 record in the regular season, best in school history. Lawson is in her ninth season at UK. She won her 300th game earlier this year. And Kelsey Nunley is the SEC Pitcher of the Year, first UK player ever to earn that honor. Nunley went 20 and 5 on the season, hurling seven complete game shutouts. Nunley also named first team All SEC. Abby Cheek was named freshman All SEC. Macy Steed and Christian Stokes were named the All SEC defensive team. They share the same dream, but for each Lexington Legends player, a journey they hope ends in the major leagues begins far away from a big league ballpark. For one infielder, that's especially true. Brent Carney has more. I was lucky enough to find baseball, and uh, it was something that I was just, I feel like I was born for. Martin Gasparini is the Lexington Legends' youngest player, and likely the last among them to fall in love with America's pastime. To do something that different and be good at it, I thought was something special. The switch hitting infielder was born and raised in Italy. And if you're thinking, they play baseball in Italy? I had no idea what baseball was before I was 10, so it's pretty accurate to think that way. But just six years after getting his first glove, scouts were flocking to Italy to watch the 16-year-old play. I was like, well, what are all these people doing here? And my coach came to me and told me, like, you know what, those, those guys are here for you. A bidding sweepstakes ended with the Royals giving Gasparini a record $1.3 million signing bonus, the richest deal ever for a European player. Now 18, Gasparini is the legend's everyday shortstop. When you see him play on the field, you don't think he's as young as he is because he blends right in with the other players. Actually, he stands out a little bit more than he blends in. Sometimes I forget that I'm actually only 18, and uh, it's going to take me a longer time to develop. And if he develops, as hoped, Gasparini could become just the second player born and raised in Italy to play in the big leagues. But these days, it's more about just learning. After all, this is all still pretty new. Look at myself on my first year and me now. It's just crazy. I'm a firm believer that I'm a better baseball player today than I was yesterday and I will be better tomorrow. No surprise, Gasparini first learned about baseball while watching videos online. His favorite player, another shortstop, Derek Jeter. We'll be right back. WKYT's First Alert Weather follows you wherever you go. On TV, online, on your phone, and throughout the day on Wild 103.9. Don't be chicken. Come into Captain D's for our Southern Style Whitefish, topped with a special blend of seasonings for our Nashville Hot Fish. Also try our Catfish Feast or Grilled Tilapia and Shrimp Skewer Meal. For full meals starting at $4.99, it's got to be D's. Enjoy 0% financing on every Tempur-Pedic on Memorial Day and every day at every Sleep Outfitters. Find Tempur-Pedic queen sets for just $34 a month. Buy now and make it an adjustable for the same monthly payment. Read, relax, watch TV, all from the comfort of your Tempur-Pedic adjustable bed. With 0% financing for five years and 16 models available for immediate delivery, get your Tempur-Pedic during the Memorial Day sale at Sleep Outfitters. At Baptist Health, we want you to know the facts. Visit BaptistHealthTalks.com to view a video of anesthesiologist Thomas Young on reducing pain after surgery. Baptist Health Lexington. Be a healthier you. Life is easy here. And now you can make it even easier with a home equity line of credit from Republic Bank. Even if your mortgage isn't with us, you can get a below prime 2.99% 12-month introductory fixed interest rate with an ongoing variable rate thereafter and no closing costs. Pay off higher loan rates, manage unexpected expenses, or make a home improvement or two. Stop by your nearest Republic Banking Center and talk to an associate today. We're Republic Bank, and it's just easier here. According to Kelly Blue Book, okay. Subaru has the highest resale value of any brand. Again, you might find that comforting. Uh. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Right now, get 0% financing on new 2016 Legacies at Quantrell Subaru. Taller grass has fewer weeds and needs less water. Go better, Lexington. 
Someone else can get them dressed. Someone else can push the swing. Someone else can fix their lunch. Someone else can tuck them in. But they don't want someone else. They want you. Get checked for breast and cervical cancer. For information on free screenings, call 1-844-249-0708. Don't be chicken. Come into Captain D's for our Southern-style whitefish, topped with a special blend of seasonings for our Nashville hot fish. Also try our catfish feast or grilled tilapia and shrimp skewer meal. For full meals starting at $4.99, it's got to be D's. Severe thunderstorms rumbling into central Kentucky as of now. Several counties are under severe thunderstorm warnings. Those are the counties that are shaded in the yellow, and that includes much of the bluegrass region. Defender radar network lighting up with thunderstorms that are working their way on through the area, getting large tail reports and some wind damage reports out of parts of central Kentucky as of now. Very intense thunderstorm here that is on top of the Jessamine and Garrett County line around Bryansville. Downtown Lexington, worst of this particular storm, is now pushing to the east side of town. It is right on top of the Hamburg Pavilion area. Look at all the lightning strikes out there, and there's that threatening sky that is outside the station on Winchester Road. Additional strong and severe thunderstorms will work their way through the area as the evening wears on. Keep it right here in WKYT. First alert severe weather coverage will carry us through the evening.